Okay, here we go. A follow up to the last video where I did, if this was your second home, what were the top 10 things to look at if you were going to buy a second home and then maintain it? Hey, Laura in my comments uh, posted, maybe I've covered this topic. How about a checklist? for part-time owners in the villages? What responsibilities a part-time owner may have to hire others to do home maintenance and maintaining your home from afar? So I'm gonna do it. Here it is. I'm gonna do the checkoff list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end up doing a split screen and I'm just gonna do the part-time checkoff list. So here we go home management company, which I talked about in the other video. If you can get your neighbor to do all of these duties, <laughs> then good for you. So I would go ahead and hire a home management company and understand their duties. I went with Empty Nest. You could go with somebody else, but here is the, what they do. So make sure you understand what a person's going to do when they check your home. Because usually when people say they're going to check your home, it's like you're on vacation. They're going to water your plants and just make sure nobody broke in. <laughs> a, a home management company does a lot more. And here we go. Running of the systems like the water or the toilets and the dishwasher. They check issues like storm damage, how's your lawn doing, sprinkler issues, uh, windows and doors, and maybe even garage locked. They turn on and off the water, including the refrigerator ice maker. Cleaning the toilet bowls to make sure they stay fresh, which is pretty much a scrub and go kind of thing. You are required to provide them with light bulbs so that if light bulbs burn out, they can replace it. Um, some of them, as part of their services, they do some coordinating of deliveries or if subcontractors need to get in if necessary. Fully understand that. Uh, mine even turns off the irrigation system when the temperatures get down to freezing and then when the freezing temperatures are over they turn them back on so they don't get damaged um, some let you know if their plants are okay that kind of thing home management company i recommend if you're not going to be there for many months in between next check off mowing the lawn who's going to do that it's usually done weekly in florida because of the irrigation and watering mowing to make it look nice it really needs to be done weekly pesticides uh, kind of bug control around your house around your yard uh, you can have this done uh, there's different packages but i went with bi-monthly but these companies are going to bill you every month. So you have to either set up a system uh, to bill you. Utilities. I'm going to quickly go through my utilities. Yours may be a little different. Utilities. The Villages District handles water, sewer, irrigation, trash, amenity fees. Those are done monthly. It comes as one bill. Uh, you could set up for automatic payment if you want, or you can send a check and you can have it delivered to your, it comes via email or, you know, so you have many ways to pay that. Um, whether you want to write a check or set up automatic payments, that's up to you. Electric company. I have Duke Energy. That comes every month. Leesburg Gas Company, I have natural gas. You may not, but if you do, that's a monthly fee. Uh, internet and TV, that's optional if you're, depends how much part-time you're there, if you have that, or if you have internet for security reasons. Those would be your utilities. Annual maintenance, and I guess I'm putting this on the list. I would assume that you would do it when you're there but it should be on your checkoff list. The air conditioning unit, heating unit, there should be an annual checkup. 
you should have that checked every year. Filters change, that kind of thing. And then many have tankless water heaters. Uh, the water heaters need to be flushed annually to keep them in great shape. So something to put down as a checkoff list. So Laura, there you go. There's your checkoff list. If I forgot something, comment below. Let me know. But there is your part-time home, second home. You're not there all the time. Here's your checkoff list of what you've got to keep track of. All these things can easily be maintained. And the home management is the linchpin in the whole thing. It's good to have a neighbor that just looks around your property every once in a while. That's not a bad thing either um, to, to if somebody sees something wrong. that One of my neighbors, he's got my phone number. If I need to, if something goes wrong or somebody it doesn't look right, he can give me a call. So Laura and others, hopefully this helps, but here is the checklist for those who are living somewhere, somewhere else and maintaining a home in the villages. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.